Hey, what's up SaaS Masters? My name's George and today I want to show you Fluid CRM. This one is made from the same guys from Fluid Forms. It's a really solid team that really listens to the user's feedback. They also have a really active Facebook group where they listen to us, to our problems, to our needs, and their support is also awesome. So I don't have any doubt that Fluid CRM will be great. Now they've just launched Fluid CRM and what it is, it's an email marketing system that works inside of WordPress. Now, what are the benefits of this? Well, you control the data that's in there and you don't have any limits because you actually install this on your WordPress. So you're not based on anyone's cloud or other systems. You have the information there. So you can send out email campaigns, you have your CRM there, and you can also create automations, which are pretty awesome. And I'll show you those in this video. So enough talk about that. Let's actually see the platform and check it out. So let's jump over to my desktop. This is Fluid CRM site, and if you guys want to grab the deal that's going on right now, I will leave that link in the description. This link supports me with a small commission, and it won't cost you a single cent more. So it helps me make these videos for you guys. I recommend you jump into the site, check out the features, just so you can see an overview, but let's go over to my installation of Fluid CRMs. This is my test WordPress site, and I already installed Fluid CRM, and it also installs Fluid Forms. It installs the free version, but if you have the paid version, just install that license there. In this case, I left it free, just so you guys get an idea of what you get, just in case you don't have Fluid Forms. Okay, so Fluid Forms will install a brand new menu, that's this one right here, Fluid CRM. And what you get is a new dashboard for your CRM, obviously. So you get a dashboard with a quick overview of the analytics. So I have three lists going on right here. Total contacts, 1001. I have two campaigns, email templates, I haven't created any, and emails sent, just one. Just to give you this quick glance of the analytics that you're going to get. So you have all this information that you can check by subs oh, subscriber growth, email sending stats, open stats, link click stacks. Obviously, when you have a bunch of campaigns and a lot of sent out emails, you will have a lot of information that will be really useful to take business decisions. Also, you have the quick links right here. Let's go over to contacts. Contacts are straightforward, just like any CRM or email marketing system that lets you add a, cut, a, in a contact by plain adding just manually everything right here. Or if you have another service and you want to import contacts from another email marketing service from a giveaway that you made, for a sign up page that you have somewhere else, just grab that CSV and import it right here like I did. So you got the CSV file and you can also import the WordPress users, which is pretty useful. Once you add the CSV, you get the option fields for the sections that you want. So one section could be like, which section of that CSV is the email, which one is the address, which one is the email, which one is the date, are they subscribed or not, and just a lot of fields that you can add right here into Fluid CRM. Next thing we have is the campaigns. Campaigns are obviously straightforward. I have this one that I started and I'll just click on it to show you the analytics, also the overview right here. This is an email I sent to myself and you can see I created this right here. And this is the information that you're going to get. So campaign details, the emails that it was sent to, obviously just me, link metrics of this campaign and sent emails, total emails and the open rate of these emails. Let me go back and let me create a brand new campaign. Now, I just want to give you a heads up. The best part is going to be the funnels, but we'll get to that in a bit. So if I want to create a brand new campaign, oh, can't create same name, test three, all right? It's pretty easy and straightforward to get started. So you have the, the way to add the emails right here. Now I haven't created any templates, so you can create a plain, well, so a simple box email, a plain centered or a classic or at the end, the raw HTML. Now that's what I use because I import raw HTML into my emails because I think they're more interactive. But if you're looking for something simple, I just as you would, you would write something here and you would create, you have the same fields as you would like, for example, Gutenberg, and you can add images and text, bold, italic, and all that good stuff. Let me get rid of this right here. And whoops, and I'm going to grab my HTML, all right. So this is the HTML I'm using. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to send it over here and template raw HTML. Get rid of this. Put in my info right there and I will view it over here. Now you can import the raw HTML and then edit it right here. If you see some stuff that you don't like from that raw HTML, you can edit it. But let's just say you want to edit it here because you didn't edit it over there in the raw HTML. That's also possible. So it's pretty easy, like I said, and straightforward to use. So I can say thanks. 
and look at instead of think but you can edit it right there that's not the power of this this is just something simple you can also import from a library or continue in this case we're going to continue and right here we will add the email subject in this case let's just say like um, i don't know check out this deal from fluent crm right that would be the email you have some options right here from variables if you want to use a variable from the name just to capture that people's attention um, the name prefix the first name the contact email just whatever you want to use from those variables are possible right here you can also enable a b testing and what percentage of that a b testing it's going to consider to decide which one will be the one it's going to use so it sends out a couple of emails depending on the percentage that you want to do and it's going to decide which one had a better open rate and it's going to decide from there which one it should use so it's pretty useful email preheader let's just say we're just going to say testing for now set a custom from name and email if we want to do that so it's going to be from and sent from so just in case you're using this with other companies that you're it's not based on this uh site that you're using so in this case i'm using this test site what's well, not going to be sent from my admin at test.sas.com so it's going to be changed right here in case i'm not gonna i'm gonna leave that right there and utm parameters to have a more analytic of what's going on from that email you can also send a test email from here to the to your obviously to your admin see right here it's gonna be sent to there let's go to continue to next that way you see if everything's okay if you edited the, the template right or not okay which list are you going to use? So remember, we already added some context. I've, ha I've added these lists right here. I'm just going to say YouTube because that's the one I created for testing purposes. And I can select the tags. Let's just say this one is from customer tags. I can add more actions if I want. I can exclude contacts from that list. So for example, if I want to exclude someone from, oh, let's go, let's use this one, which is a bigger list from 1000 and affiliates I didn't add tax to them or did I no no tax to them customers so it's gonna add one oh one thousand right there if I wanted to exclude some of these guys from for example if they were customers the tag that I want to exclude that would be possible there obviously it's gonna go to zero because they're all tagged to customers but if we added those tags to those to those email lists say depending on the open rate depending on if they're customers or the affiliates are they this or that or whatever it's going to filter that and send it out. In this case, let's get rid of this filter right here. Leave it like that. I need to remove this, this, all right? Get back. Whoa, got to get rid of this. All available contacts. So in this case, I'll just select affiliates because that's the, it won't exclude anyone. And we'll go to continue to next. So it's processing what it's going to do. And it says processing now. Please do not close this window. So let's wait for that to load. All right, so now it's loaded. It hasn't it hasn't been sent out. Don't worry about anything. This is just to tell you what's going on before you send out. So you got recipients, the subject, the email body that you can check out right there. If you want to edit that, you want to send a test email of this. If you want to check it out just to see that everything's looking fine in the email. And if you are ready to go, you can send it out right away or you can schedule these emails to another time, right? So there you go. That's pretty easy and straightforward for the campaigns. Next thing we have is the forms. Now this one is based on Fluid Forms, obviously. And what I've created right here is a simple one. So let me click on it, Actions, Preview Form. So what it did, it created a simple box for the to capture the email so people can subscribe. So obviously, like I said, it will install the free version. So all you have is like the free settings right here. Nothing going on, nothing fancy. And if you want, this is the short code right here so that's a short code you will install inside your site somewhere where you want to call people to act call an action for people to, to sign up so let me close that up and if you need to create a brand new one you have simple options like opt-in form subscription form and opt-in form so that means it has this one is just the email another look and if you want to capture like name last name and the email that's possible with this right here now this is the best part of Fluid CRM, which is the automation section right here for the funnels. And this is what really excites me. So let's create a brand new funnel right here and we'll call this testing for video. And we have categories for the triggers. So for example, if a new user signs up for WordPress, that could be the trigger, okay? That's gonna start the automation. Or if it's WooCommerce, it's gonna be if a new order is created, that's gonna start the automation. 
And if they sign up from a new form like the one we created and you saw right now, then that will start the automation. So for example, let's just say for WooCommerce, okay? When a new order is created, this automation is going to start. Now, like I said before, this is what really excites me. And I know I'm saying that too much, but it really does. This is the automation and this is a flow of the automation of how it's going to work. So for example, what's going to happen? This is going to trigger it, a brand new order. First off, I want to tag this person. So I'm going to apply a tag right here. So I'm going to apply a tag and I'm going to say this is a customer. So save that setting. That's the first thing this automation is going to do. So a new order is going to tag, apply that tag to this guy. And then I'm going to wait for a couple of days. You can send it to hours or minutes. In this case, I'll just wait two days. I don't want to be spammy. So I'll wait two days, seven days, just whatever you want. Remember, this is just for testing. So after two days, I'm going to send out an email, right? So let's go right here. Send out an email. Subject is going to be take advantage of this coupon, right? So I want them to come back and keep buying, right? So I'm going to say start here. Here is the coupon. You can apply your template. You can you have the options like I told you before, even raw HTML again. So that's just simple, just for testing purposes. Save that. That's saved and I'm away. And this flow, it's going to work automatically every single time someone makes an order. Now, just really quickly, the other options that you have is like you can set set a sequence for emails, cancel sequence emails, set a campaign email, apply to a list. So if it's a new user from a form and you want to apply them to a new list, that could be possible. Or maybe you switch that person that purchased to a list that's made for customers. So you switch them by that. Apply a tag remove form list, remove from tag. So it can remove from another tag that was before. And you also have the benchmarks. So if the order received in WooCommerce, if a list applied, tag applied, tag remove, list remove, and link click. So you have all those options available to build your own automation. Now, all this is already available in version one of Fluid CRM. So I can imagine what's gonna happen in about, I don't know, three, six months. This is gonna go really, really far. And last but not least, we have the settings of Fluid CRM. This is really important that you set up right because, for example, this will grab the information for later on for sending. For example, this is the business name, business address, my logo. My email settings are going to be right here. So from what email it's going to be sent from, set your default information right here. The default footer for the unsubscribe, so you can change this also. So like I said before, the settings that you put in business settings, so the business name, it's going to grab it from there. So that's a variable. So make sure that you put the right information right there or just edit it manually right here. Don't use variables if you don't want. You got the variables down here if you want to use. Okay, so that's for those settings. The general settings, let me see if there's anything important here. Uh, user sign up opt in settings, you have that option. Comment form subscription settings, custom fields right here the const if you want to add fields right here that you don't have before you can add them there the double opt-in setting this is made for people who, who need this for in some countries it's required so you have that right there you need to confirm that they've subscribed so that's there incoming webhooks so you got webhooks available to connect with integromad integrately zapier pavli just anything that has webhooks use it right here with this tools Nothing fancy there. The SMTP, the email services. Um, this is what's going on. So this is the news that they are going to add. This is available, the Amazon says. And there you go. Basically, that's the most important part about Fluid CRMs. What I like best about it, like I said before, is that I control the information and it's not going to leak because it's not based on a third party site. So everything's based in WordPress. It's, it's easy to use. I really recommend because this team is super solid. So if you're looking for an email marketing service that will be really flexible and really powerful, this is the way to go. Well, guys, I hope you like this video and just have a quick overview of what Fluid CRM is. And if you guys want to grab the deal, like I said before, that link will be in the description. If you would, if you would like to support me, please consider using that link because it, because it helps me out with a small commission. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.